Today I wanted to talk to you about our responsibility as scuba divers. As people who dive in the ocean, these are five things that we need to know and keep in mind as divers. So come join me on this journey while I pack for the boat this weekend. Number one thing is our oceans are in danger. I also know that more people than ever before dive, meaning there's a lot more boats in the water, there's a lot more recreational fishermen, there's a lot more equipment being made and sold. And that's why as divers, we need to learn about the oceans and the fragile ecosystems that exist, whether it's mangroves, coral reefs, cold water reefs or more, and how they're being impacted in the area where you dive. In too many situations have I just seen people say, oh, the ocean is endless, and we well know that the ocean is relatively small. We only have this one planet and our oceans are incredible, but we are seeing changes in marine pollution, the Great Pacific garbage patch, the fact that the Mediterranean has something like five trillion individual pieces of plastic and that certain species are becoming extinct. Just today I read there's only 10 vaquitas left. Last I heard there were a lot more. This does mean as divers we are at the forefront of marine protection. Why would people in their offices who've never dived cared enough to make changes in their life to protect our oceans when we as divers who are in the water every day or every week aren't doing anything about it. So we need to be the leaders in protecting our oceans and starting the conversation in voting for the people who protect our oceans. Doing our research about climate change so we know how to talk to the naysayers because there's no point yelling at people about things they don't understand. And unfortunately, the cognitive dissonance with climate change is enormous because it is a terrifying thought that our kids or our kids' kids are going to live in a world that's completely unrecognizable. And that's why it's so important to lead by example, to minimize our climate impacts, which then trickle down into the ocean with every choice we make. Like, this is a secondhand jacket. If you are going to buy new equipment, invest in high quality that's going to last you a long time. We have a chance to support brands and organizations that put the oceans at a forefront, whether that's using recycled materials or they're using recyclable packaging for transport, have committed to donating back into various organizations like the Australian Marine Conservation Society, Sea Shepherd. When you're a diver, <laughs> especially if you're a more experienced diver, people are going to be looking up towards you. If you're a dive master and instructor, what you do on every dive matters. As a diving instructor, I leave nothing but bubbles. I don't pick up marine animals, I don't touch marine animals, which can cause me harm as well as the animal harm. Because every time you touch a shark or a turtle or a Rass, you are leaving your bacteria on their skin, which can cause diseases and lower their immune system. I make sure to have good buoyancy, meaning I'm not hitting coral and causing unnecessary damage. When we go on our own boat, when we anchor, we anchor in the sand as opposed to the coral reefs that can cause a whole load of damage by pulling up coral reefs. Also remember that the choices you make at home trickle down into the ocean. I mean, that's why I stopped using shampoo for four years and got some of my most viewed videos on this channel. I was trying to find a plastic-free option for my hair, which was healthy for my hair, which wasn't contributing to plastic pollution and wasn't putting a bunch of chemicals down the drains. And just be mindful that the food you eat, whether it's plant-based, sourced locally, Ah, oh, the sun's coming out. Or growing yourself is all going to come into the big picture of your particular carbon footprint and your impact on climate change and your impact on oceans. And of course, I know that as individuals, there's only so much we can do in the face of climate change. It's the big corporations that are contributing so much to pollution. That's why picking politicians and representatives in your local area all the way down to who's the president matters for our future. Vote, and if you can't vote wherever you live, like I can't vote, vote with your wallet. After all, all drains lead to the sea, and I think all actions we take also lead into the impact we have on our oceans. I think that's why I spend a lot of time trying to educate myself and others what we can do to better protect our planet.
I mean, this should be the conversations you're having instead of potentially who's dating who. Although I saw this the other day and imagine Taylor Swift was dating a climate scientist or imagine she was drinking from a reusable water bottle. I mean, talk about the Swifty effect for the good. And the last point I wanna make is we all have different skills. Whatever your strengths are, I'm sure that various ocean conservation areas need them. So use your skills for the good. Use your skills to volunteer. I mean, everything from sorting out trash to being an educator, editing, social media, or just your time can be extremely valuable in our fight for a cleaner, bluer planet. Finally, the last thing to remember, we live in a time in the world where we have the extraordinary privilege to go out diving, scuba diving, free diving. Our oceans are still here filled with marine life. Coral reefs are incredible. Wherever we dive, we get to see and experience a new world. So get out there, enjoy it, and remember, this is why we have to protect it.